When the giants come to town, it's bye-bye, baby. Hey, welcome back to SF the Giants Recap, and in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how the Giants actually have a chance to go to the postseason and slip into a wild card spot. I really hope that they do this, but this is just my take on it. And so the Giants might have a legitimate, legitimate chance to make the playoffs, and the obvious answer is probably no. But after spring training and only six regular season games, the Giants could really be sneaky this season and perhaps surprise the Padres and take a wild card spot. The West is a really tight competition between the Giants, Dodgers, and Padres, and the Padres have a great team, but I don't think they have a consistent team, and what I mean by that is that they have a lot of injuries right now, and they don't have a set guy every position. Tatis is supposed to be the face of baseball this year, and only after seven games he has an injury, and it might keep coming back to him. He has soreness and all that, and Dennis Lamette is not healthy, and so those are two big losses. But right now, I'm not saying that they're going to be a bad team by no means, but I feel like they're going to have a lot more bump in the roads than the Giants. As for the Giants roster, they kind of have the opposite of the Padres, where they don't have to worry that much about injuries, but they have to worry about getting a lead and maintaining it. Our bullpen is very shaky, but it finally looks like we have a good closer with Jake McGee, like unlike other years with Casilla and Gott. As for our offense, we have a lot of old players, and I mean a lot. Only one player is below the age of 25, Logan Webb, but I feel like Longoria is back to his 2012 self, and Posey looks better than he has in the past three years. And so the old guys could come through. Yastrzemski and Solano do have to play at semi-MVP level this year. And Solano's looking really good with nine hits. And Yaz is in a slump, but he could come through soon. And the guys who are the underdogs that like could help win a lot of games this year are Ruff and Slater, uh, like with help of power and help in the field. Our pitching is really well so far. Even after um the good like even after our add-ons this year with Sanchez and Discofani who are pitching very well and even after good things baseball is a marathon and you have to take it game by game. So we'll have to see how the Giants can win ninety games and slip into the wild card and beat the Padres. And I hope the Dodgers do bad and choke this year. But on paper they're just the favorites and they're gonna win the NLS. So these are my reasons I think the Giants could take a wild card spot and bump out the Padres. I mean, like, it's probably not going to happen, but this is for Giants fans to get their hopes up and see if we can take a spot. And Padres are looking a little shaky. We just won the series against them. I know it's only the first series. We have a very small sample size, but my predictions are the Giants can win more than 90 games this year and make the wild card as, like, the last one in. And so we'll have to see if they can outlast the Padres because uh, Padres have a lot of injuries right now and can um, maybe bounce back. But I just see the Giants slipping past and winning a lot of games with their starting pitching. And their starting pitching looks really good. Webb is the only one that has kind of a shaky start. But Webb looks really good during spring training, so that's a really good sight. And um, Johnny Cueto could come through. Kevin Gosman's always looking really good, and then our two add-ons, Discofani and Sanchez, who I mentioned, are also really good. And so, yeah, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and like, and so I'll see you next time for a new SF Giants recap video, and we'll see you tomorrow for a post-game recap, so see you then.